be present before we start, settling into your body. And take a moment just to notice how you feel. Connect those sit bones down into the earth. Tilt them forward and stack your spine all the way up through the crown of your head. And take in a deep cleansing inhale. And then exhale, letting it out. And another inhale. And an exhale, releasing all the stress, tension, expectations. And pause for a moment. Just notice how you feel after two breaths. If your hands are resting on your thighs, perhaps flip them open towards the sky. Let the sunlight or whatever light you have come in towards those palms. Let it run up through your arms into that heart space. And take a moment to notice what happens when you visualize that and set your intention for that. Perhaps things shift. So if it feels good and you're comfortable, close your eyes and take another inhale through your nose. And an exhale through your mouth. And today I wanted to explore this idea of creativity and opening yourself up to new things and new possibilities. And I am back in this little cabin that I love to come to, um, to do a project this weekend. So this is a little bit of a selfish topic, but I think it will open up portals for others as well. So the thought that came to mind this morning around this is what if, that question, what if? And so I share it with you if you ask yourself, what if? What if something were different? What if whatever is holding you back were not actually holding you back? What if whatever you're about to embark on, and I know some of you are about to embark on big life moments, what if they turn out amazing? What if the creativity flows? <clears throat> What if all of those things you've been worrying about vanish? What if the worrying doesn't change any of them? What if it would all work out amazing in the end? And bring a hand to heart and another hand to top. Noticing how you feel with all of those what ifs. Is there a little crack that could let the light in? A crack to say that all those old stories aren't necessary. What if you weren't defined by your past? And all the options are open today. What would you do? What would today bring? Take in another deep inhale right into that pocket behind your heart. Sending all those possibilities and what ifs right there. And exhale, let it go. Inhale to shift the energy, sending that oxygen and possibilities and what ifs to every little cell, every nook and cranny. Fill it up with the possibility of the breath, energy shifting. It's like a medicine of energy shifting. And exhale, let it go. Just notice how you feel. Perhaps a little more expansive and open. Can you see more what ifs? Does something pop to mind? How might you show up for today and this weekend, the week ahead, perhaps the fall, with this question of what if top of mind? Take in another deep inhale of what ifs. And an exhale of all the can'ts, don'ts, might not be good enough. Things might not work out. And another big gulp of positivity and openness and creativity and thoughts and all the things. 
filling yourself up with possibility and exhale, letting go of all that stuff that gets in the way and lower your hands to your thighs and open your eyes and just notice how you feel. Take an inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky, your palms come together, palms actually come together, clasp your fingers, flip your palms up towards the sky, shimmy those elbows by your ears, round your sit bones into the earth and stretch tall, 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 slight arch back. Exhale, round forward, suck your navel in all the way, opening up every nook and cranny in the back, sending all the possibilities there. Inhale, arch back, slight arch, enjoy all the movement. Exhale, round forward, suck your navel, press your palms all the way towards the front of your mat or the front of the room or whatever beautiful nature is in front of you. For some of you, I can see it. Inhale, slight arch back once again. Unclasp your fingers, drop your right hand towards the ground, spread those fingers wide, 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 bringing that energy in through your fingers, ground them into the earth, connect with that earth's energy, bend your right elbow and stretch that left hand over the left ear, open the whole left side body, breathe into it. Exhale, gaze over the left shoulder, blowing away all the things getting in the way of the weathers, all the doubts, Inhale deeply, gulp of possibility. And exhale, blow it out over that left shoulder. Bend the right elbow slightly a little more, sink into it. Reach the left finger slightly more towards the right. Deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Press into the right hand, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Inhale, reach tall once again, shimmy your side body. Let yourself reach taller than you thought possible. Exhale, drop your left hand, spread your fingers wide, all five fingers, ground them into the earth, stretch towards the left. Bend the left elbow, right hip reaches towards the earth, right fingers reach towards the left, breathe into it. Exhale, gaze over the right shoulder and blow all the things getting in the way away. Another inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more deep cleansing breath. Flushing away old stories here, old ideas about how it is and why the what ifs are not possible. Blow it away. Press into that left hand, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale your arms out towards the side, re-clasp them at your sacrum. Press your hands towards the floor, elbows straight, shoulders down and back. Drop your chin to your chest. Notice the opening in the neck, deep breath here. Exhale, relax and fold your chin a tiny bit closer to your chest. Shimmy your hands a little bit, get rid of any tension and breathe in once again. Exhale, release. Bring your chin back to your chest. Turn it to the right and pause. Come back to center. Turn to the left and pause and move slowly. Our necks are tender and require care. Come back to center. Take an inhale and an exhale. Gently look up towards the sky caring for your neck well, and just opening yourself up to possibility, heart open, mind open. You can close your eyes as you look up. Notice the energy shift as you do this. Yoga is about shifting energy and opening yourself up to new perspectives and possibilities. Noticing your neck stretch here. Bring your shoulders down with intention. Everything open. Bring your chin back to your chest, release your hands and just shake it out. Spread your legs wide. And if you're sitting on something, adjust it so you're tilting right off the edge just to give you a little more space. Connect your ischial spines downward and your knees can be straight-ish. If you need to bring them closer together, do that. 
don't overextend yourself here. Take a moment and have some fun rocking on those sit bones, wiggling from one direction to the other, perhaps move your shoulders. When I did yoga in Hawaii, she had us be seaweed. So imagine yourself a little bit like seaweed here, rocking from side to side, opening things up. Sometimes when we spread our legs, we get in this very tight spot. So give yourself a little bit of um, movement in the, in the pose. And then point your toes and flex your toes. Spread your toes wide, 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 drawing in the energy and the possibility in right through the toes, right up the legs, right into your groin, sacrum area, and let it sort of fizzle up like bubbles in a soft drink through your torso. Engage your sit bones, tilt your pelvis forward and stack your spine with strength, empowerment, intention. Reach your neck all the way to the sky, crown of the head reaches tall. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Take your hands, place them on the floor in front of you and walk them forward handprint by handprint. Noticing the energetic shift in the back of the legs here. Point your toes with your hands in front and flex your toes towards your knees. Toes should be in line with your knees. Notice what happens when you point your toes. Pause and flex them towards your knees and hips. Walk your hands, another hand print forward, and it just notice all of the shifts. Shifts even from moving one hand two inches forward. So small, tiny shifts can make big changes. Bend your elbows and notice once again the shift, just a little bit. Walk your hands back towards your groin. Pick them up, bring them behind you, tense them behind you, so like cupcakes. Press your fingers into the floor and move your hips forward an inch or two. Once again, tilt your pelvis, stack your spine, and puff your chest forward, opening the chest, heart light. Close your eyes, breathe into that pocket behind your heart here. Huge exhale, release. Release your hands. Take your right hand, slide it down towards the right foot and notice the shift in the upper waist. Reach for your toes. When you've reached for your toes, take your left hand and reach it up towards the sky. A slightly different way of getting into the pose. Notice how it feels. If you can, wrap your hand around the right outside of the right foot. Stretch your left arm over your left ear and enjoy the opening of the left waist. Draw your attention to that pot right, spot right above your hip bone and breathe into it. Exhale, gaze over the left shoulder. Notice what happens. Little movements, big shifts. Another huge inhale. Heart rolling open as you gaze over the left shoulder. Perhaps draw that left hand back over the left ear a little bit. Notice what happens there. Tiny shifts, big movements. Huge inhale and exhale. Engage your belly. Slide your right hand back up towards the right thigh. Lower your left hand to the left thigh. Opposite side, slide it down the left leg towards the ankle, towards your foot. See if you can grab the outer edge of the left foot. Raise your right hand towards the sky. Lower it over the right ear if that feels good. Breathe into it. Exhale, release. Inhale. As you inhale, slightly turn open towards the sky. Gaze over the right shoulder. And exhale. Notice your belly and your side working here. Breathe into the top of that right hip and waist. Exhale, blow it out. One more breath here. Whatever feels good. Wiggle your fingers and your toes if that would feel good. Inviting movement in, noticing the tiny movements, creating shifts, opening yourself up to what ifs, possibilities. Slowly slide that left hand up the left leg, lower the right hand. Bring your hands to your outer thighs, slide them in front, and we will come to hands and knees in whatever way feels good. If you want to Use a blanket for your knees, do that, be kind to them. 
and notice some days you need a blanket and some days you don't. Coming to hands and knees, take a minute to even yourself out. Back is flat, tops of the feet on the floor, knees hips width. Spread those fingers wide, equal pie shapes. Press the palm or surface of your knuckles into the earth to protect your wrists. And wiggle your hips a little bit, again, like the seaweed. Just notice how when you do that, the flow and the movement gets rid of old stuff. Do it with fun, whatever works for you. Yours might look like circles, it might look like hip wags, it might look like dog movements. And come back to stillness. Inhale, come to cow pose. Stick your sit bones towards the sky, crown of the head reaches towards the sky, stretch your whole spine. Notice your belly open and heart reaching towards the front. Heart open. Take a huge gulp of breath here. Exhale, blowing it out, folding into cat pose, head drops, back spine reaches towards the sky, opening every nook and cranny, every muscle fiber. Inhale, back into cow. Notice how good it feels. Let it feel good. Notice when you stop resisting, what if this just was to feel good? And we could let that be. We don't have to be fighting the world. We can just sit here and enjoy this in this moment. Suck your navel up towards the sky, drop your head and neck and enjoy it. Let it feel delicious and delightful. Come back to tabletop. Walk your hands forward to handprint, curl your toes and shoot those hips up towards the sky. Downward dog. Here again, have a little fun with the concept of the seaweed. Waggle your hips, waggle your ankles, Inviting movement, shift, little movements, big shifts. Once again, shifting the energy, we can always do that. Our body is just a pack of cells and energy. So when your energy feels off, move it. Use the breath, perhaps pedal your ankles, as I say, walk the dog or be some seaweed, whatever feels good to you. Come to stillness. Notice your hands and take good care of your wrists here. Spread your fingers wide. Once again, press both palms into the earth. Straight your arms, shoulders, uh, hero head into the shoulder socket, elbows straight. Press your hips up and back towards the sky. Lift up onto your tiptoes as high, high, high as you can and slowly lower your heels towards the earth. Once again, notice that energy running up and down the legs perhaps right into that groin space, perhaps pouring down into your heart. Take a moment here and just notice all that energetic shifting and move in whatever way feels like it would shift in helpful ways. Yoga, as I often say, is about shifting your perspective and downward jog is specifically about that. So you can take a moment and look back between your legs, lower your forehead towards the floor, Notice how things look upside down. Notice how your heart feels upside down. And just ask yourself that question again, what if? What if something that seemed so very true or a story that you told yourself from childhood or perhaps a story that someone else has told you that you just believed to be true, what if it wasn't? What if it's okay to do what you want to do? It's okay to shine. It's okay to have fun and live and enjoy. Huge inhale of possibilities. And exhale, let it go. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold. And allow your head and neck to release completely. Hands can come to your elbows. Widen your feet if that feels more stable. Notice how you can help yourself feel more stable and enjoy it all more and perhaps fold more. Hands are on your elbows. 
head and neck releases towards the floor, knees can be bent, lift up all 10 toes and spread them wide, 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 lower them down. Sway a little bit from one side to the other. Again, the seaweed concept, perhaps right shoulder forward, left shoulder forward. Notice all the things that happen here when you do that. Lower your hands towards the floor. Walk your hands forward and come back to downward dog. Pause here for a second. Lift up onto all 10 tip toes, heels high, 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 high. Exhale, lower your heels towards the floor and notice the shift here. Huge inhale, a pause and exhale, release. Lift up all five toes on the left foot, lower them down, ground the ball of your left foot into the earth, reach your right foot towards the sky, three-legged dog, engage your belly, exhale, stack your right hip, bend your knee, roll your ankle out, creating space in that right hip area, rolling your ankle in the other direction. Square your hips, press your heel into the back wall, extend the leg straight, Take an inhale, gulp of possibility. Exhale, bring your knee, foot between your hands. We'll come into Anjaneyasana or low lunge. Wiggle those right toes forward, as far forward as you need to. Untuck your back toes, protect that left knee if needed. Raise both arms up towards the sky. Tack your right hip back and your left hip forward. And notice the opening, a tiny window there on the left side. Breathe into it as you stretch your fingers tall, tall, tall. Huge gulp. Exhale, sink into it a little smidge more. Perhaps bend the right knee, wiggle the right toes a little farther forward. Sink into it. Bring your hands back a smidge. Notice what happens there. Your heart opens a little bit more. Breathe into it. Stretch your fingers tall, tall, tall. Exhale, bring your arms out towards the sides. Reclasp them at your sacrum. Press your fists towards the floor, shoulders down and back, heart opens. Breathe into it. Exhale, sink in a little bit more here. Once again, inhale. And exhale, sink in a tiny bit more into that right knee, right hip, left hip. Notice all the sensations. Release your arms up towards the sky. Bring your hands together at heart center. Fold forward halfway. Hook the left elbow onto the right knee and notice what happens. Enjoy all the sensations here. You may need to shimmy that back knee a little bit. Take good care of your knees. Breathe into it. Crunching yourself all up in a little ball here for a moment. Breathe into it, into the twist, into the pockets of tightness. Come back to center. Notice the release that happens when you sit up tall here. Hands at heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Take an inhale of breath, shifting the energy, opening yourself up to what if. You notice on the inhale, things shift and move. Exhale, sink in a tiny bit more. Lower your hands to the floor. Straight that right knee, toes come back towards your knee, half splits. You can walk your hands back towards your knee. They're directly under your shoulder. Tuck your right hip back and your left hip forward. Play with it here a little bit with those hips. Waggle them like seaweed. You can point your toes to the right side, to the left side, move your ankle around. And come to stillness. Huge breath into the energetic shifts in the back of the leg. Opening up space. Creating movement. Letting the lightness in. Getting things unstuck, shifting. Perhaps close your eyes and draw your attention to all those sensations in the back of the leg. You can bend your elbows a tiny bit if you wish to fold forward a little bit more. Again, little shifts leading to big shifts. 
straight your elbows back straight. Lower those right toes towards the floor. Bend the right knee. Press into the toes of the back foot. Hop your back foot forward. We'll come into pyramid pose. Readjust as you need to come up to pyramid pose. Both legs straight. Tack your right hip back, left hip forward, and fold forward over the front leg. Pyramid pose is both legs straight, both toes facing towards the front of the mat. Inhale into all the energetic shifts in the back of both legs here. Once again, move here onto the toes of both feet, onto the heels of both feet, onto the toes of both feet, and come both feet flat to the floor, knees straight, fold forward, pause in stillness, and allow the shift. Use the breath to help you, to support you. Bring your right foot forward to meet your left. Spread your feet wide, come into a forward fold again. Bring your hands to your elbows, lower your head. Lift up all 10 toes, spread them wide. Shift into your toes in the forward fold. Shift into your heels in the forward fold. To the left, to the right. Lower your hands, engage your belly and roll up inch by inch by inch by inch ever so slowly and we've been upside down for a while so give yourself a moment to shift with kindness to accommodate and take time to enjoy and appreciate and notice the energetic shifts letting the energy come down into your fingers like an hourglass and imagine it raining out your fingers like pixie dust take in a gulp inhale again and an exhale, release, letting things go. Letting go of all of the old stories of what's not possible and what is. And shifting to what if instead. Take an inhale right into that pocket behind your heart. And an exhale, let it go. With your palms facing forward, lift up onto your tiptoes. It will be harder to balance this the way than with hands to heart center. And just pause up here, high tips, <laughs> heels high on your tiptoes. You may wiggle and wobble, have a little fun with it. Stay high, 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 high. Another moment or two, breathe in. And as you exhale, lower down slowly with intention. Bring your hands to heart center. Press those thumbs into your sternum and close your eyes. Just take a moment and notice how you feel. Long, smooth inhale and exhale. A moment to check in. Perhaps to think again about rather than what is. What if you asked what if? What comes to mind? What portal is opened? What new thoughts pop in? What might you want to do in this moment that hadn't come to mind before? And bring a hand to heart and the other hand to top, just allowing whatever is what came to mind to be without judgment. Take two more breaths here, sending yourself love, compassion, kindness, acceptance, Acceptance for anything that's popped up with this idea of what if. Knowing that humans like to think about what ifs. We just don't let ourselves. And lower your hands down by your sides. Reach them out and up. Palms come together, slight arch back. Fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, your butt sticks out, back is flat. Exhale, fold forward. And depending on where you are on your mat, 
come to downward dog in whatever way works for you. Spread your fingers wide. Take a moment to get comfortable and take good care of yourself. The palmar surface of all 10 knuckles presses down. Both palms press down. Protect your wrists with kindness. Straight your elbows, tuck those humeral heads into the shoulder sockets. Press into your hands, hips reach up and back. Lift up onto your tiptoes, allow your head to fall completely. Shake your head, letting things go. All that old crap. <laughs> Lift up high, high, high on your tiptoes once again and lower them down. Notice perhaps how it feels different already. Huge gulp of breath and huge exhale release. A little bit more than the smooth inhales we usually take. A big gulp of breath and a huge exhale. Lift up all five toes on the right foot and lower them down. Notice the ball of your foot ground downward. Engage that belly, use your belly button for you and raise your left foot up towards the sky. Press the heel into the back wall, three-legged dog. Buttocks engaged, hands engaged, everything strong. Press that heel into the back wall. Huge gulp of breath. And on the exhale, bend your left knee, stack your hips, roll your ankle out. You can try even bending your elbows here. Notice how that feels. Roll your ankles in one direction or the other. I know we often say, keep your hands straight, legs straight, but try playing with it, see what happens. Take good care, but play with it. See what feels good to you. But if the traditional way of doing this isn't the right way for you, straight your left leg, press your heel into the back wall, everything strong and engaged. Huge gulp of breath. Exhale, bring your left foot between your hands. Come into Anjane Asana or low lunge on this side. Bend your back knee, wiggle those front toes as far forward as you need so that when you bend your knee, your knee is not beyond your ankle. Tap your right hip back and your left hip forward. Wiggle those knees, wiggle those, sorry, left front toes a little farther forward. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sink in. And notice. Inhale, stretch those fingers tall, 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 tall. Side body strong, engaged, long, as taller than we thought possible here. Exhale, sink in. One more stretch, tall, 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 tall. Heart is light, shining. Notice the light coming in towards your heart from wherever it is. Exhale, bring your arms out towards the side. Reclasp them at your sacrum. Press your fists down, elbows straight, shoulders down and back. Notice the lengthening in your neck. Notice your heart here for a moment. Let the light pour into that heart space with your heart open, chest is puffed forward, hips are open. Lots of energy moving. Use the light, use the breath. Huge gulp of breath. And a huge blowing it out, exhale, releasing all the crap. I keep using that word, it's not a very yogic word. But I think when you envision it, you know exactly what it is. Breathe in once again, big breath. And exhale, just letting go. Release your hands, bring them to heart center. Hinge at the waist, right elbow hooks to the left thigh. Coming into a low lunge twist, scrunching yourself all up in tightness. Notice what moves here. Notice the tightness, what doesn't really work and what feels icky. Breathe into it. Exhale, release. One more breath here. Into all of the stuff that feels tight and stuck. Letting the light in. Come back to center. Notice the release here. Lower your hands down below your shoulders. Straight the left leg. Come into a half split. Left leg straight. Left toes reach towards the left knee. Walk your hands perhaps back a little. Point those left toes. And flex them. Point. 
and flex. Notice as you point and flex the shifts. Perhaps turn the sole of your foot to the left and to the right. Come back to center. Spread your toes wide, 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 wide. Release. Take a big gulp of inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, fold forward a tiny bit more, release your head and neck. And just allow yourself to be here. Go inward for a moment. Notice what's shifting with compassion. Some things may have been uncovered that want to move now. Let them move. Two more breaths here. Big or little, notice if your breath has gone shallow all of a sudden and notice if you can make it more deep, more full. Walk your hands forward, bring your left toe of your foot towards the earth, press onto the back toes, hop your back foot forward a couple of footprints, probably a couple of feet, and come into pyramid pose on this side. Take a moment to set yourself up. Tack your left hip back, right hip forward. Legs, legs are straight, toes jet line towards the front. You may be reaching the floor. Your hands may be on your thighs. So do what works for you. All of this will do something. And notice what you need or want today, what your body needs and wants. Play with shifting your weight. Shift into your toes your heels perhaps lift both toes up and spread them wide notice what happens lower your soles of your feet toes to the floor bend your elbows wherever you are and sink in a tiny bit more three breaths here once again go inward and just notice how you feel right now compared to when we started huge inhale and exhale Inhale, and exhale, fold forward, letting things go on the exhale. Whatever wants to be let go. And maybe you don't even know what it is, but just let it go anyway. Step your back foot forward to meet your front foot. Sink your knees down and back. Come up into chair pose. Bring your hands just to heart center. Sink your hips back down and low. Taking a moment to find your strength here. Lift up all 10 toes and lower them down. Sink those hips back down and low even farther. You can widen your feet if you need or you can bring them together. Notice what feels good for your hips and your body. Hips down and low even a little bit more. Lower your hands to the floor, shoot your hips up to release, head and neck release towards the floor. Engage your belly and roll up as we do, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly, being kind to yourself, letting the energy shift as you rise. When you arrive, take a minute to arrive. Finish letting the energy shift. You can keep your eyes open or closed, know what feels good here. Palms open to the front, wiggle your fingers. Lift your toes up, wiggle them, lower them down. Take in a huge gulp, inhale. And an exhale. Shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Tightening, tightening, tightening everything. Pinch them back towards the back. Pinch the scapula together. Notice any tension there, anything stuck there that would like to go away. Pinch it tighter, tighter, tighter. Hold it for longer than you want. And lower your shoulders down, palms open. Let the energy pour out the fingertips here. Notice what's happening. Have fun with it. Envision that heaviness leaving right through your fingers. And if your eyes are closed, open them. Just notice how you feel now. 
We're going to come into dancer pose because it's a little bit of creative energy. Take a minute just to roll your ankles out, release any tightness there, and come to stand, your feet directly under your hips. Engage your belly, stand tall, stack your spine, drop your shoulders, stretch the neck and crown of the head towards the sky. Lift up all five toes on the left foot, lower them down, connect the four corners of that left foot into the earth. Draw your knee up in front of you to hip height and pause here. Just notice how you feel. Straight your right leg in front in this balance pose. Hands are light and loose at your side. Shake them out. Bend your knee. Straight your knee. Bend your knee. Take your right hand, slide it over the right thigh, down the right shin, and bring your heel to your buttock. And pause here. Take a minute here to stand nice and tall. Hips are even. Notice if you need to adjust anything in your feet. If you wish, raise your left hand towards the sky. Standing tall, tall, tall. This may be as far as you want to go today, and that's fine. If you wish, tip your torso forward, press your right foot, top of the foot into your right hand, reach those left fingers forward. Have fun dancing. Noticing here the energy shifts. Notice where you're grabbing. Notice where you're holding tight. Can you soften into it? The what ifs come with the softening. The what is and the can'ts and the won'ts and the what's wrong come with the tightening. So soften into this, even if it feels unstable or unfamiliar, dance a little. The point is to dance, so wobble. Bring your left hand up towards the sky, lower it down. Find your balance once again, and then lower that foot, shake it out, enjoy it. Notice what tightened up, and send the breath there, and roll your ankles if anything feels tight. And we'll come to stand once again. Lift up your right toes, and lower them down. Notice how we're gonna use the four corners of our right foot here to invoke strength and doing things that might feel a little bit off center, off balance. Engage your right leg, engage your belly, raise your left knee to hip height and pause. Bring your hands to your hips or leave them light at your side, shake them loose. Stretch your left foot long in front, straight leg, bend your knee. Stretch it long in front, heel presses towards the front of the mat or the front of your room, bend your knee. Left hand runs along the top of the thigh, top of the shin, bring your foot behind. Come to an even hip here. Enjoy the release in the front of the left thigh. Raise your right hand towards the sky. This may be the dancer you wanna to be today. It's beautiful. Maybe you wanna enjoy the stretch in the front of that left leg. Stretch tall. And then ask yourself what it is you like. Do you want to tip forward? Press that left foot into your hand. Play with it, have fun. What if it all works today? What if this side's way better than the other? Perhaps wiggle those front fingers if you're in dancer or wiggle the ones that are reaching to the sky. Two more breaths here. See if you can smile while you do it. Raise that right hand towards the sky. Come back upright. Lower your right hand to your right hip. Release the left leg and just shake everything out. Noticing all the tightness. And we'll come to a seat. Stretch your legs, <coughs> excuse me, long in front. Bend your right knee. Hug it in towards you. Take a minute here to let that right hip flexor, which we stretched a lot, have a little tender care as you hug that knee in towards you. You may even want to pick your right foot up off the earth, wiggle your toes, stretch your toes. 
Use your belly, tuck your pelvis, sit up nice and tall. Hug that knee with a lot of strength, giving it a juicy hug. And notice as you do this, the hip and it releasing, sending in some love, hopefully. Breathing into it. Sit up tall, use your belly here. Exhale, release. Keep your right hand on your shin. Your left hand is gonna to reach towards the outer edge of that right foot. See if you can straight your right leg in front. Release the right IT band, stretch the leg. You're gonna turn slightly to the right. If you wish, take your right hand, put it behind you, twist to the right. You can even like relax into that back hand. Bend the elbow a little bit, play with it here, rock. It's a little bit like rocking the baby, as we say. <laughs> Enjoy it. Come back to center if you have twisted. Bend the right knee, lower your foot down. Hug it in once again, st facing straight. Rock a little bit here. Take your left hand, grab the outer edge of your right foot, and hug your right foot in towards you. You're going to take that, grab your, sorry, right hand around the outside of the right shin. We're going to come to rock the baby with our foot. So left hand is going to wrap around the right foot. Bring it in and you'll rock. As if your right shin and foot are a baby, you'll rock onto that right hip. Opening the right hip, have a little fun with it. And if I was not articulate in my explanation, take a look on the screen. Oh, have fun rocking. Rock all the way to the left. Twist gently to the left. Notice what happens. Rock all the way. Look to the right. Notice what happens. Come back to center. Engage your belly. Tip backwards an inch or two. Notice what happens. Sit up tall. Tilt your pelvis forward. Rock your pelvic bowl. Stack your spine high, high, high. And hug that foot and baby in towards you. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Drop your shoulders, everything engaged. Give it a nice little last hug. And slowly untangle. You'll release your left hand, holding it in the right, and guide the right leg long in front. Stretch it alongside the other. Move the flush of your seat, and just notice for a minute how you feel here. Get those sit bones connecting to the earth. Move a little more flush if needed. Engage your belly, tilt that pelvic bowl, stack your spine, reach both arms up towards the sky. Take an inhale, stretch tall, tall, tall. Exhale, fold forward towards your toes, the head and neck release, let go. A moment here to go inward once again. Noticing what is in this moment. Pausing to ask yourself that what if question again. What if something that felt out of reach is actually just within reach with a different way of thinking, a different way of feeling? Allow yourself to dream. Slowly walk your hands up your shins to your knees, to your thighs. Bend that left knee and hug it in. Tight, tight, tight. Hug it in such that the left foot is off the earth about an inch or two. Belly is tight, spine reaching towards the sky. Everything working. Right heel reaching towards the front, right toes reaching towards the right knee. Everything engaged, hug it tight. Let that hip flexor just fully, fully, fully relax. <sighs> Huge gulp of inhale. Squeeze it tight. Exhale, release, relax. <sighs> release your arms. Right hand comes to the outer edge of the left foot. Straight the left leg long in front and notice what happens. Take your left hand, if you wish, place it to your side. If it feels good, place it behind. Inhale, stretch tall and twist to the left. Breathe into it. 
Three deep breaths here into all the sensations, all the movement. Come back to center if you haven't. Bring your left hand behind the left thigh. Bend the knee, release the right hand. Hug the knee in, facing front. Reconnect your sit bones, sit up nice and tall. You may want your foot on the floor this time or in the air, whatever feels good. Tuck that pelvis and sit up right on your ischial spines. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Hug the knee in. Right hand grabs the left foot, outer edge of the left foot. Once again, draw the left foot towards you. Take your right arm around the foot and cradle your left leg like a baby. Left arm comes around the left knee and rock. Have fun with it. Maybe even sway like the seaweed with your baby in your arms. And notice your right leg. Point the right toes, flex the right toes. Hug that baby in a little bit farther towards you. A big end of hug squeeze. For many of you leaving your kids at college, envision that last hug. Give that hug to this hip. And then slowly untangle right arm releases. Left hand guides the left leg down alongside the right. And give yourself a moment to arrive. Lots of energetic shifts here. So just pause, notice, relax into it. And when you're ready, we'll roll down to lying on our mat. Extend your legs long. Arms will be parallel to the legs and you'll unroll inch by inch by inch, using your belly to guide you, noticing that when we move in intention, it goes better. We end up where we want without injury, <laughs> without flopping. And when you arrive, notice if you prefer knees bent or knees straight today. Ask your back what it would like. And pause for a moment. Palms face down to begin. Focus on the breath. Notice your heart slows down. Draw both knees into your chest, hands on your shin. You can wrap your hands around and have another rock. Massage the sacrum. Rock a little farther than usual, side to side, so you almost tip, but not quite. Get the outer edges of that sacrum massaged. And if you tip, that's okay too. Bring your hands to the outer edges of your feet. Come into happy baby. Draw your knees towards the floor, open your groin, soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Wiggle your toes in your happy baby. Press your knees towards the floor. Rock here. Bring the soles of your feet together. Draw your heels towards your groin. Hands come to the ankles. Press those heels in towards your groin. Move your arms out of the way of your chest if they happen to be there, <laughs> happens to be in the way. And close your eyes here and just imagine that question once again, what if, what's possible? What could it look like? What if something you're worrying about turns out better than you expect? What if that dream of yours, job change, move, whatever, what if it were possible? What if what's ahead this week is so amazing, better than you ever dreamed? What if you stopped trying to not be? What might happen there? Release your hands from your ankles. Lower your feet to the floor. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana, reclining butterfly. 
Bring a hand to heart and a hand to belly. We'll take five breaths here. A moment to restore, refill, replenish. Bring your hands to your outer thighs. Draw your knees together. Bring your feet to the outer edge of the mat. Raise your arms above you in an easy cactus shape. Allow your knees to fall to the left today first. Right knee reaches towards the front of the mat. Right hip and psoas pop open. Send the breath there with kindness. Perhaps notice your lower back. Allow it to release and let go for a minute if it's tight. If you wish, gaze towards the right. Notice your heart here. Does it feel light? Does it feel open? Does something here feel more possible than it did earlier today? Draw your knees back to center. Head comes back to center. Drop your knees to the right. Left knee reaches towards the right front of the mat. Gaze to the left if you wish. And enjoy it. Bring your gaze back to center, knees back to center, feet back to center. Bring your knees to hips width. Lower your hands by your sides. Bring your heels all the way towards your hips, palms on the floor. Press into your feet, press into your hips, reach this high, 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 come into a bridge, release the back body. Shifting the energy on your back side. Reach your hips towards the sky, high, high, high. Shim your shoulders underneath you. Reach high, 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 engage. Everything for a while. Everything engaged. Feet engaged, hips, body connecting. Heart is light, shoulders with intention are tucked under you. Everything engaged, squunch tight. ever so slowly, lowering your hips towards the earth. Untuck your shoulders, stretch your legs long in front. Toes will reach, flock towards the outer edge of the mat. Open your palms up towards the sky for Shavasana today if that feels okay to you. Make sure you're comfortable. Take in a huge gulp of breath. And a huge exhale, letting go, shifting the energy, giving that energy a space to go out with the breath, using it as a vehicle. And allow yourself to soften in. Soften into this moment in time to just be here and enjoy. And whatever what ifs pop in, let them pop in and pop out and any hesitations, just let them flow. A moment of just flowing and being and enjoying. Nothing to do. Let your body breathe for itself. Let your earth beneath you hold you, care for you, cradle you. Letting everyone and everything just take care of itself for today for this moment.
When you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Let the sensations come back into your body. Take a big gulp of breath once again. Stretch tall and long in either direction. Exhale, let it go. Draw your knees into your chest and pause for a moment. Roll to whatever side feels good. Just give yourself a moment to notice how you feel. If there's more room for this question of what ifs, possibilities, rather than what is. When you're ready, slowly press into your hands and come up to a seat where we began. Give yourself a moment to arrive, bringing hands to heart directly. And as you arrive, sending energy to the heart space, kindness, love, connection, compassion, just positive energy, whatever it looks like to you. And bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Take in an inhale and an exhale. Thank you all for practicing with me today. May you all have a beautiful week ahead filled with creativity, possibilities, and all the what ifs that arose. Explore them, have fun with them, play with them, put them in and see what happens. Have a beautiful week.